ஹலோ எவ்ரி ஒன் வெல்கம் டு மை சேனல் மை செல்ஃப் விக்னேஷ் ஆனந்த் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி அபவுட் தி போல் டிஸ்கிரிப்பன்சி இன் யுவர் பிரேக்கர் ஸோ நார்மலி த போல் டிஸ்கிரிப்பன்சி ப்ரொடெக்ஷன் இஸ் இன்ஹெரண்ட் ஃபீச்சர் ஆஃப் சர்க்கியூல் பிரேக்கர் விச் என்ஷூர்ஸ் தட் ஆல் த த்ரீ போல்ஸ் ஆஃப் அ சர்க்கியூல் பிரேக்கர் இஸ் ட்ரிப்ட் ஆர் க்ளோஸ்ட் வித் இன் அ ப்ரீ டிஃபைண்ட் டைம் பீரியட் ஸோ If there is any mismatch of a breaker open or closing uh, time, then the pole discrepancy protection will operate and trip all the three poles of your circuit breaker. So normally, pole discrepancy is used to check the opening and the closing of your circuit breaker. Uh, it is assessed by a timer and a timer. checked by its uh, breaker axillary contacts so for example if a fixed time is set in your uh, timer after uh, which pole discrepancy is supposed to initiate suppose the time is set at uh, 2.5 seconds in a pole discrepancy timer then if there is any mismatch in the, uh, of the time which means uh, the opening and the closing is taking place after 2.5 second means within that second the pole discrepancy shall initiate and gives you the trip for all the three poles of your breaker next is your pole discrepancy working example in here we have taken a six axillary contacts s1 to s6 in that the s1 s3 and s5 are normally close contacts while the s2 s4 s6 is normally open contact this is related to your breaker in your uh, open position which means normally the breaker is in open position means this s1 s3 s5 will be in a closed condition then s2 s4 s6 will be in a open condition and it the position will changes according to your breaker position if the breaker get closed means automatically this s1 s3 s5 will get opened and s2 s4 s6 will closed this is how the timer diagram of your pole discrepancy so as i said in a normal breaker open condition this s1 s3 s5 will be in a close condition and s2 s4 s6 will be in a open condition contacts if there is any mismatch in the order means automatically the timer will get initiated so the connections for the timer are in such a way that the parallel connections are been done for all the three poles of your uh, circuit breaker so if there is any mismatch in any of the single pole also it will initiates the timer and then automatically the pd will get operated just we will go with an example if one of the face get uh, just uh, with an example if the r face is faulty which means uh, the breaker status is not getting properly means automatically it will initiates the pd within the time which means uh, uh, the breaker status would come within the specific time if it exceeds the time mint automatically it will initiate and give uh, you the trip command just uh, we are now seeing the diagrammatic representation of the pd timer so as i said now the breaker is closed and the axillary contact position will automatically get changed normally the s1 s to uh, s1 s3 and s5 these three will get uh, open position and s2 s4 s6 
it should be get in a closed position but due to the fault in the r face the s1 and s2 position will uh, not changed so the fault is present in your r face and the pd timer will get initiated after a specific time and automatically the trip will be goes to your all the three phases so this is how the timer connections are there in here now the r face is faulty so uh, the positive terminal which is uh, comes from your s1 and connected with the all the three parallel uh, s5 s6 connections so automatically the positive will move to your s5 and s6 and out and then it will reaches the timer already in timer side we have a negative so automatically the timer will get initiated in this condition so uh, the timer will initiate uh, after a specific time which we have set for a resetting of your breaker so we will have a doubt that why we need to have a time specification for this uh, pd operations normally the time specification is given for your auto recloser of your breaker which means uh, the if any uh, transient fault or a minimum occurring fault is happened so the breaker will automatically decloses within a specific time so uh, that specific time is defined by this uh, pd timer so in here as an example we have taken a uh, 2.5 seconds which is normally kept for your breaker line breakers so if any filter breakers are uh, like that within the session means for that we will keep a timer as a 0.5 seconds so within that 0.5 seconds the there uh, the breaker need to be closed or else pd will get initiated so this is how the pd is working thanks for watching have a nice day nandri vanakkam